and welcome! My name is Luigi from Bluestex and today I'll present to you a tower defense mobile game called Arcanite. If you're not familiarized with the concept of a tower defense game, let me explain. It usually consists of carefully placing your units in the map and watching them fight wave upon wave of enemies until the stage is complete. And Arcanite is no different from that. That means that you spend most of your time navigating through menus to power up your team and get access to many game modes. On the battlefield, however, you'll be mostly idle and carefully placing units on the map as the situation the map. Here, planning and strategy is more important than action and fast-paced combat. The biggest problem of playing these types of games on a mobile device is the fact that you have to deal with the small screen and clunky touch controls, and you will often fight in your cell phone as much as you're fighting the enemies in the game. However, by playing Ark Knight on Bluestacks, you enjoy this awesome tower defense game on the PC with, with a much larger monitor and better control. You can truly focus on the fun, instead of struggling with the emotions. However, that's not all you can get when playing Ark Knight on the PC, as we are about to see now. So, without any further ado, let me present you all the advantages of playing Ark Knight on Bluestacks. First of all, let's start with the key mapping tool. This is one of the most versatile and powerful features of Bluestacks. This allows you to create a custom control scheme for any mobile game using your mouse and keyboard. You can set hotkeys and shortcuts to streamline the process. And let me tell you, in this game there is a lot of menus. So here, with the key mapping tool, you can effective access menus, enter missions and even unleash some of your special operator skills using only your keyboard. And the best part is that we already provide to you a base control scheme for you to get started. But just in case you want to make some changes or add your own shortcuts, we can make this very easily. All you have to do is open the game controls here, you can drag and drop all the commands you can possibly imagine to your life. Once you lock your daily missions in the game, you'll notice that this is where the grinding truly begins. And most of these challenges consist of simple tasks that will grant you nice rewards such as experience, skill books, drill battle records, and everything else used to further improve your squad. And for the times when you have to repeat the same action over and over again, the Bluestacks Macros feature is your best friend. This will allow you to record a sequence of commands and automate whatever action you want to perform. To do so, just click here on this little icon and then start your recording. Once they're done, just hit pause, give it a name and assign a short. And now you're all set! With that, you can let Bluestacks do all the heavy work for you automatically, while you enjoy the best parts of the game. Even though this is a tower defense game, there is a lot of RPG and gacha mechanics, as we're about to see. So from the very beginning, you'll find yourself constantly recruiting new characters for your team. And if you want the best characters from the very beginning, you might need to do some re-rolling. This consists of reaching the point when performing the first summoning and restarting the game over and over again if you're not satisfied with the result. And you can imagine that this can take many and many tries before you get the hero you want. In every attempt, you must complete the tutorial, skip the dialogues and get to the point of the first summoning, which can take a few minutes. However, with every attempt, the time starts to add up. And you can imagine that this can take many and many tries before you get the hero you want. And finally, you notice that you have spent more than 6 hours rerolling without any luck. Luckily, with the Bluestacks multi instance feature, you can reroll with multiple accounts at the same time. You basically create several instances of Bluestacks and access Arknight on each, allowing you to reroll several times in one city. Moreover, you can synchronize the actions you perform in one instance across all other active windows. This will not only make the whole process of rerolling much easier, but also you'll be able to progress through the story much faster. With some creativity, you can use the tools I presented to improve a lot your experience when playing Ark Knight or any tower defense game. And no longer you have to struggle trying to play on your phone. And instead, 
you'll be able to focus completely on cleaning challenges at every turn. And of course, improving your squad. So, if you want to enjoy the best this game has to offer, make sure to play it on Bluestacks. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!